On April 23, 1961, Judy Garland recorded what is inarguably her most notable album, Judy Garland at Carnegie Hall. Capitol Records set up microphones in the famed hall because the famed Garland was under contract and, as the story goes, executives at the label thought she was too unreliable to get back in a studio and make the album she owed them. She was, quite literally, captured live. Miss Show Business provided what was called in the original liner notes, the greatest evening in show business history. Among the notables in the audience of more than 3,100, Carol Channing, Henry Fonda, Julie Andrews, Richard Burton, Rock Hudson, and Spencer Tracy, who commented, a Garland audience just doesn't listen. They feel they have to put their arms around her when she works. In her review, Hedda Hopper wrote, we laughed, cried, and split our gloves applauding. Including the handful of encores, Judy Garland sang 26 numbers in all. No authorized footage exists, but an unidentified someone snuck their home movie camera into the hall and here's that very rare footage. Judy Garland at Carnegie Hall won five Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year and Best Female Vocal Performance. It was the number one record in the country for 13 weeks. One year later, Hurricane Judy, as she was dubbed, reminisced about the evening in a radio interview. Well, I, I don't think I've ever had a more uh, marvelous evening uh, than the evening I had with Judy Garland. Many people are under the impression that Carnegie Hall was a one-night concert, but in reality, it was just one night of a tour that took Judy to 16 different cities. No less an expert than her conductor, Mort Lindsay, once told me she never performed the same song exactly the same way. Part of the reason why she came to be known as the greatest live performer of all time. I'm Steve Kometko from MyCommunity.com.